Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Dees, this is my workshop. This is going to be part two of my second design for the lathe ways carriage stop. In this design, we stopped, I, I did a lot of fiddling with this top part in part one, just to get it to seat right. I, I wanted this to be flush with the flat portion of my ways bed, and I wanted these, the 45 degree angles to sit properly on the inverted 45 degree angle that's on the ways, the lathe bed. This episode, we are gonna complete this project and the first thing that I want to do is mount these two together. And what, how I'm going to do that, it would be easy if I flipped this in for end and I got all kinds of meat back here to mount that together. But I really like the idea of having all of this portion here on the flat portion on the, on the lathe bed. Now this, probably half of this piece will be cut off and put in the scrap pile or the uh, parts bin and there will be an L shape here to go underneath the lathe ways. So this top piece will lay on top. This will hang, this is the, the front face of the, of the lathe bed. And then this is where I'm gonna be able to drill through and put, a, put these cap head screws in. I want to recess them so that the heads are below the surface which means I need to counterbore that. I'll probably use an end mill and I've got all the measurements and everything that I need. So we need to drill a through hole to accommodate these eight thirty seconds cap head screws. We will drill and tap this bottom portion here and that will complete the, the connectivity of the two pieces together. And hopefully these will sandwich together and clamp down on the lathe bed. So I think the first thing we'll do is do that. We, like we will get these drilled, tapped, and stuck together. After that, I'll do some measuring. What we need to do is come across to the same distance here, and we need to come down the thickness of the lathe bed and come across until we hit the face of the lathe bed. And so we'll have a little L milled out area of an L shape here, and then the rest of this will be cut off and discarded. And that will complete the mounting mechanism. When that's all done, we will come back and I want to I want to mount these together with the screws. And I want to face mill using a fly cutter all the sides to make this thing look really nice. And the last and final step might be to drill and tap this uh, a threaded hole for this cap head screw. What this would be is a sacrificial cap head screw. I can screw this in, it will hit against the carriage and the carriage stop will actually hit this and not the, the mounted piece that will be on the lathe bed, on the ways. That's what we have. I'm gonna attempt to use this if I can get this mounted in my mill and have enough height that's very tall to do the tapping. We are going to drill the through hole with a number 29 drill. We're gonna do a clearance hole for the tap. Sorry, backwards. We're gonna do a to number 21 drill for the, the through hole here. And that will allow for the threads here to go all the way through. Then we will do a number 29 so that we can prepare this bottom portion for the tapping operation. Here's our tap and the 5 16ths, we're either going to do a quarter or 1764 so over here. I'm, I'll probably go with larger, 1764 so It's not a critical uh, fitment. It just needs to thread in and, and stay. So those are going to be the operations we do, and then we'll get on with uh, facing everything off and making it look nice. Let's get started. Here's our two pieces. We're going to get these in here so that we can start drilling and tapping our operations here. See if we can get these in so they're not moving and then we'll we'll get these done. Double check this measurement here. Hmm. 
I'm going to call that 300 thou. So 150 thou in would be the center. But I could come a little farther. I think I will. That's in there. And from now we won't move it until we get our all of our mounting pieces complete. So the first thing we want to do is figure out where we're going to drill. I think what we're going to do is the smaller diameter first. That'll be a number 29 drill bit. we go we've got our drill holes drilled now I will I'll drill these out a little larger so it's a through hole uh, but now I want to tap this bottom portion here let's go ahead and I think we're done with that drill let's get that out of there Really like these Chicago Latrobe drill bits. Really nice. Let's go ahead and get these tapped and then we'll do a test fit with our screws. Use a little bit of the drill hog. These YG taps really do cut well. I like them. I'm not going to power tap this or anything crazy. Now that it's started, I could probably get my tap wrench out and finish it up.
need a little bit. I was a little worried about that. A little too tight. I think we need to go down one more drill. Get this out of here and let's do a test fit and then we'll continue on because we need to finish milling out the base piece well here's where we are we've got our holes drilled and tapped we have the work piece like this with any luck these through holes will work they'll be nice and snug there we go a little tight probably just needs cleaned out a little bit Just a little bit tight on the one end. It'll clean out. All right. So we want to be able to screw these in, marry these together. And I went with two for stability so that it's a little tighter. Uh, and they won't move around, move about. Let's see if we got our depth right. That blue Sharpie's coming off of there. And when we clamp them down, there's one. Let's make sure this one clamps down. There's two. There we go. So we got the two clamped down. I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah. That'll hold together. I decided not to counter bore these because there's not a whole lot of meat over here and through here it's, it's close to the edge I, I just didn't want to mess with that i think these are flush enough for what i'm going to be doing do it like this We want a little bit of clearance right there. That's 650 thou. 650 thou is going to put it right up against the face of that. So I may want to go 625 thou. Let's 
see what that looks like. Now we're going to do 650,000 total length. Okay, the total length here is going to be 650,000. So we need to mark that. Maybe a little shy. We'll go 645. Let's get our square. Right in there is where where we're gonna want that. Yeah. So we need to cut that off. Then in addition, this depth is gonna be two hundred and fifty thou. measure that so that's going to be that depth so that's going to be that one And then finally, I need to measure just how far down this needs to go when it's mounted on here like this. Okay, I finished measuring that. It's 325,000, and that's going to be that's going to be that. Should be able to draw a straight line here. Yeah right there this is what comes out but there there's the piece I'm going for this piece here is what I want it's what I'm after so we'll get this cut off and we'll start milling it out and uh, we can always adjust this if it's if it's not where I need it to be. We just need to clean up the top of this where I cut it and then we're just going to take off the the depth that I need which was all the way down to where we have it marked for 250,000. I'm going to go a little strong and we'll do a test fit. I don't I don't want to get into my tapped holes. Let's get this cleaned up first.
And I got into my threads a little, but it'll be all right. We can always remake this base piece, but for now, let's see how she fits. About ready to close this project. Let's take that out of there. We'll clean this off, and we'll do a test fit. So this will go up here, and then this piece, if I did it right, should thread onto the base. And hopefully I got my depths correct where it will actually clamp and not move. Otherwise we gotta go a little deeper. There's one. And two. So I can clamp that down. That's tight, that's solid. We'll go do a summary, but someday I'll put a, a screw here I want to maybe put a stop here so it's a sacrificial piece and then uh, I might want to anodize it as well as maybe mount this up and clean all the surfaces up with a fly cutter but that holds really well that's a nice solid stop and it goes underneath I can bring this thing all the way up there is no reliance on the channel the problem with the previous one I did was it relied on I can put that all the way there, any, anywhere I need to put it, and it's going to work out just fine. Snug it down. Yeah. Works out good. That's going to work out really well. Nice. As far as adding this this bolt as a stop I can always do that later I'm not sure if I want to right now um, I, I just don't know if that's necessary for what I'm going to use this for so I think for now I'll just clean it up with some you know brake clean or something and get everything cleaned up I may in the future do some fly cutting between all these pieces and just make them look a little a little smoother almost like this side but a little better the functionality of this thing is working really well. This is uh, what we came up with. If I had to do it over again or remake this bottom piece, I would leave a little more meat over here. That's just kind of how it worked out. Most of this is due to me, the need for me to fiddle with this back and forth to get it to seat properly on the top. Again, this could be made a little better. I can certainly improve the design basic same basic design but I, I think i can improve it overall down the road if i want but for the first one of this design i think i think it'll be very useful these two will screw screw right in there and i was able to use my my number set of drills to prepare for the tapping operations worked out really well I use my YG tap. That thing is great. This snugs down nice. It's got a low enough profile. It doesn't interrupt with anything. It's got the right profile for the lathe-ways. And it mounts on there really well. Overall, I'm happy with that design. I can make some future customizations to this. Like I said, I could drill and tap for this screw here if I want to have a, a sacrificial stop. I think this one's this is just a little too big. I don't I don't need anything that large in there. I'm not sure if I want to do I'm going to hold off on that because I don't know that I want to do that yet. Um, but the stop is there. It works. It mounts on the lathe. I can put it wherever I need to. I can customize this as I need to. I could mount something on top if I need to mount something to it. Overall, that design works really well. It's a little trickier than you think. You think, oh, that's a simple design to make. But Really, there's, you know, when you start getting into 45 degree angles and that sort of thing, mounting it in your vise, mill vise, gets tricky. There's a lot of, a lot of things to work through. But overall, I think this thing worked out. I'm really happy with it. Well, everybody, I was going to end the, the video, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and fly cut these other two, just these two faces to make the part look a little nicer. These are the unfinished pieces from the original 
uh, hot rolling or however they manufactured the raw stock. So we're going to go ahead and fly cut the two sides and then we're going to call this project complete. It should look nice enough for what it is and maybe someday we'll anodize it. But for now, that's going to be the completion of this project. We're going to clean off these this fa face and the one opposite of this. Let me get started. Get some oil on there so we don't have any galling. Well, I think my I'm starting to get galling or, or need to sharpen the end of that. It's certainly more peeling the material, but in the end we got a nice piece, nice face done. I'll have to clean that up with a, a file. Let's flip it over and finish this so we can close out this project. Alright everybody, we're going to close this video out. We got this cleaned up and this is as far as I'm going to go with cleaning it up. It will get kind of scratched and used in the lathe as I use it. Maybe someday I will clean it up again and, and anodize it, but for now this is the completed part. Um, we can add things to it like a sacrificial cap head screw if we want, but for now I'm going to call this completed. And let's get a, I wanted to get you in here with a close-up view of the parts that we made. This is the fly cut surfaces. This back end I didn't fly cut, um, but that's gonna be, you know, underneath. It's in the bottom, actually, you won't see it. Doesn't matter. And this was fly cut, this side was. It's not perfect, you can see. I would have liked a little more meat down here and these holes to be centered. It did chew into a little bit of those, but overall, it doesn't matter. It's going to work fine. The top portion, turned out very well. Again, you're not going to see any of this. It's going to get scratched up from being on the lathe. We've got our really close clearance for the screws. There's the V that we worked on here is a fly cut side. I, I need to sharpen that fly cutter, uh, high speed steel. Here's the other side. Overall it turned out well. It fits really well. These two pieces go together. I could fly cut more surfaces. I just, I just don't see the need. This would go in there. This goes in here and they screw onto the base. Get those in there. One of them's a little tight. It's the, the through hole is a little, maybe has a burr or something in it, but I wanted it to be close so that there wasn't a lot of play in the two pieces. See if we can get these together. There we go. That's how it will be mounted to the lathe. There's the completed part. Overall, it didn't turn out too bad. It definitely clamps into the lathe. I've got extra material here to mount things to if I wanted to put an indicator or anything really. It's got low clearance, so it'll clear the chuck. And 
overall, this is going to be a nice tool to add to the, the toolbox. I'm going to close the video here. I just thought you'd want to see that close up. And I hope you enjoyed. Hope you uh, are inspired to make your own. Uh, you can certainly probably make one better than this. But hopefully it gives you some ideas. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching.